Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial video of how to instantly switch between Fever Weathers and Climates of Thamriel with the Skyrim Special Edition Re-Engaged Reshade and EMB because this wonderful Reshade and EMB made by Fire, uh, Fire Manaf, um has an ultimate preset for both Climates of Thamriel and Fever Weathers. Alright, before we start this, I got a some questions on my video, compa uh, my comparison video between Vivid Weathers and Climates of Thamriel, where True Storms is, and uh, True Storms is a also a weather mod, but what True Storms only does is it will redo thunder and rain, and also some weather effects, but it's not the same as Vivid Weathers and Climates of Thamriel, be uh, because those are complete overhauls. And True Storms is actually compatible with Vivid Weathers, and you can go you can search for that on the nexus for skyrim special edition and what you want to do there is you want to find this patch and if you're really interested in through storms you can install it with vivid weathers on this way and that is install vivid weathers first then install through storms and then install this patch and also do the same for the load order and uh, climate of them real at the moment is not compatible with true storms but um yeah only that's only important if you like true storms and to be honest i don't really care about true storms because i simply don't like rain and thunderstorms but uh yeah so if you like it you can install it with fever weathers but at the moment not with climates of thamriel because uh, climates of thamriel is not compatible yet but it's about to uh, release a patch for it but uh yeah that was everything for true storms let's continue with the tutorial how to get fast access to climates of thamriel and fever weathers with the skyrim re-engaged emb all right, um, what I suggest you guys do is first, if you have an old version of the EMB, um, download the new one. And that is um, what I suggest you do is first deleting the old EMB. And that is by uh, checking your folder, which you probably should have um, if you installed a EMB before. And what I suggest you do is just delete all the files from the old EMB. So you have a clean uh, un-EMB Skyrim, not necessarily unmodded, but you have no EMB anymore. And we want to do that because we want to have two clean EMB presets for Climates of Thamriel and uh, Fever Weathers from the Skyrim re-engaged EMB and reshade. So what I suggest you do, first of all, is download the latest version of Skyrim Special Edition re-engaged reshade and EMB. And the last one is from the 16th of November. So we want to download the reshade and EMB, and if you like additional depth of field, and I really like that, but that's really a matter of taste, download that one as well. The latest version is from 14th of November 2016. Also check the latest version of Climates of Thamriel, and the latest version is from the 14th of November 2016, and Vivid Weathers has a new version. It has a new release on the uh, 20th of November version 1.0, so the final, uh, the first, stable version i think uh, that's supposed to mean all right so once you download all those three files we can now create some uh, presets for either climates of thermal and vivid weathers and to do that is just uh, doing the following what i suggest you do is create a new folder and name it something like eme presets climates of thermal and vivid weathers all right and there, create also two folders, name it something like Climates of Thamriel, so in short COT, and create a new folder, Vivid. Vivid. Well, spelling is hard. Vivid Weathers. All right. Then, we're going to create those two presets. And to do that is by first uh, downloading the latest binaries, if you don't have them already from the EMB uh, series. And the latest one at the moment for Skyrim Special Edition is version 03.10. Alright, what you want to do is open the uh, compressed archive. Alright, then open up the wrapper version. Now let's go into this folder. And what you want to do is um, drag and drop those two files here. These two files, D3D compiler underscore 46E and D3D11.dll. And you might be familiar with those files if you have insulted the EMB or the uh, re-engaged EMB already, but you want to drag and drop them into your Climates of Thamriel folder and also into your Fever Weathers folder. So check that if those two files are in there, it seems to be. So that's good. Then you can close the EMB binaries compressed archive and now we can open up the Skyrim Special Edition re-engaged folder. So let's open it up. 
and the first thing that we need to drag and drop is the default version and that's for the same for both versions so select all the files open up our presets folder then you want to drag and drop them uh, to the, both climates of thermal to the climates of thermal folder and also to the vivid weathers folder and once that finished you want to check if all the files are in there as well so you pretty much have an identical folder uh, when it comes to the file structure all right then the real magic comes with the climates of thermal and vivid weathers um, folder and let's first extract vivid weathers go for ultimate edition drag and drop them into the vivid weathers folder make sure you actually drag and drop them in the correct folder and overwrite all the files now let's go back to climates of thermal go for the ultimate edition as well and drag and drop them into climates of thermal and also replace the original files all right, then you can close this compressed archive. And if you also have a stronger depth of fields, which I like, but it's very uh, much user dependent if you like it, it's very much subjective. Um, you can install this as well. Then you can open it up, go for EMB users, and then you can also drag and drop them, drag and drop those two files, I think, yeah, EMB depth of field into both folders as well. And again, only do this if you want to have stronger depth of field. All right, and once you did that, we now have created our two presets for Climates of Thermal and Vivid Weathers. All right, that was step one. The second step is installing Climates of Thermal and Vivid Weathers both together. As you can see here, I did already have them in my mod organizer too, but you can add them as well if you don't have the latest version. If you have an old version already of Vivid Weathers or Climates of Thermal, uh, uncheck and delete those old files and then make sure you add the newest versions of Climates of Thermal and Vivid Weathers. Then for now, only for now, it's fine to check both of the files because um, we're not going to start Skyrim with both activated. But when we have both activated, you can see that uh, it comes with a lot of plugins. And an example, Vivid Weathers needs to be placed after some mods like Wet and Cold and uh, Climates of Thamriel is also a world overall. So um, installation orders in theory should not really matter, but I suggest you put them at the end, Fifid Weathers and Climates of Thamriel. Um, and I know that because Fifid Weathers needs to be placed after some other mods. But um, if you're really not sure, if you're really unsure, you can check out the mod page themselves to see the compatibility and all for Fifid Weathers and Climates of Thamriel. But anyway, what I suggest you do is just activate both mods and drag and drop all the ESPs at the end of your load order just to be safe. All right, and then it's really easy actually. As you can see, we now have both activated, but we can only uh, activate one while we're, uh, when we want to play Skyrim Special Edition. So, and let's let's say I want to have Fifid Weathers, then we only have to uncheck Climates of Thamriel and let's keep Fifid Weathers activated. And what you want to do then is also use the EMB and Reshade preset for Climates of Thamriel. Uh, sorry, Vivid Weathers we had activated. Yeah, Vivid Weathers. So we want to have the EMB, um, EMB preset for Vivid Weathers that we did create. As you can remember, we we now have two folders here, Climates of Thamriel and Vivid Weathers. And then it's actually really easy. You want to have your Skyrim main game folder uh, at hand. So you can find it in your Steam library, Steam apps comments, Skyrim Special Edition. And then it's really easy. It's just copying Vivid Weathers and all the files, just copy them and drag and drop them in your Skyrim main game folder. So let's paste them. Um, let's see, overwrite the two original files. Not really sure what those files were, but doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, it were the, um, let's see, these two EME binary files. I did left them in my Skyrim main game folder. So, um, now we have the EMB preset for Vivid Weathers and we do have Vivid Weathers activated. So now we can safely start up our Skyrim Special Edition with Vivid Weathers. All right, so now comes the trick. How can we then easily switch between Climates of Thamriel? Well, it's just uncheck Vivid Weathers, check Climates of Thamriel. Then what you want to do is go to your um, EMB presets that we did create. You want to open up Climates of Thamriel preset copy all the files and just let's see um, paste them into your Skyrim special edition main game directory and when you paste everything right now it's going to ask if it should override everything yes 
and now we have just simply activated our Climates of Thamriel EMB preset. So if you're going to play now our Skyrim Special Edition, it has Climates of Thamriel with the um, Re-Engage, Reshade and EMB for Climates of Thamriel. So again, one more time, I'll show you how we can now instantly go to Vivid Weathers, uncheck Climates of Thamriel, check Vivid Weathers, go back to our EMB presets. In this case, we want Vivid Weathers again. Just copy everything from Vivid Weathers. Then go to your Skyrim Special Edition main game folder, paste and override the old Climates of Thamriel um, preset for EMB Reshade. Well, actually not the old, just your current Skyrim uh, Special Edition, re, um, sorry, the re-engaged preset for the Climates of Thamriel. And now once we paste this, we do have Fevered Weathers preset again. So you can just easily switch between Climates of Thamriel and Fevered Weathers with these EMB presets with just copying everything to your Skyrim main game directory and just simply click and check Fevered Weathers if you want Fevered Weathers or Climates of Thamriel if you want Climates of Thamriel. Make sure you don't activate both, that's not gonna work and just again drag and drop the correct preset that you have in your Skyrim main game directory. So that was pretty much it. I hope you guys liked it and if you have any questions please let me know and I hope to see you guys at the next video. Bye bye.